Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Gold Gas. This is about how to fix a noisy tumble dryer. The Whirlpool Hot Point and it covers a couple others as well. Uh, it's not my usual content, it's usually gas work. So for all my subscribers out there, bear with me, there will be more gas content. Cheers. Before you begin, you want to make sure your tumble dryer isn't a recall product. So check with the manufacturer with your model and serial number and make sure it's not under warranty because there's no point you spending money on it if yeah, it can be fixed for free. Here it is, the dreaded noise. Quite irritating, it gets louder and louder. So if you've got this model, the AEG in the Seat Whirlpool or something similar, watch this video see if you've got the same bearing plate set up and this may be able to help you pull that forward make sure it's unplugged Two screws at the back holding the plastic cover, remove that. The noisy one is the one on top where that rod is lower down so it's worn away on the teardrop bearing. And the one on the bottom is a brand new one. So as it sits, it's, quite, it's in the middle, well almost in the middle. That's when you know it's good. Another telltale sign is just below the rod, there'd be a load of black debris which is from the washer where it's worn it away you can pick these teardrop bearings up from Amazon or your local tumble dryer spare supplier they're pretty cheap you get them between sort of six to twelve pounds this is my one the bearing plate actually got so bad it sort of crumbled apart so you can't actually see it on this one but it was behind that little plate under behind the screw Undo the screw on the left, it's a torque screw on that, and then you need to get the S or the Z shaped metal bar out of the pin. So it's soft metal so you can bend that pretty easy with a pair of pliers, or maybe even with your hand if you're feeling strong. Take that front plate off, might be a bit stiff so you might have to get a flathead screwdriver to sort of prise it off. Once that's off, you can put it all back together in reverse order. Teardrop bearing, then that front plate. And then you wanna get that little metal pin through the hole and then recreate the S or the Z shape so it secures it in place. If she is running, nice and quiet, just the way you want it. If you add me on social media, on Instagram or Twitter, then you can find some competitions, promotions and some plumbing disasters as well. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.